how can you be busy all day and still unproductive? But we gonna talk about it. Hey girl, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Trinity. If you're new here today, we're gonna be talking about the one thing that will help you to get your life in order, the one thing that will help you to get your mental in order, the one thing that will help you to feel realistically productive. If you're interested in hearing about what I'm currently doing to get my life together, just keep on watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get right into the video. So as you may or may not know, last week I made a post on my channel saying that I was not gonna be posting at all for the week because I was just feeling very overstimulated, very unproductive, and very just all over the place. My mind was so cluttered. So I just knew that it was time for me to take a break but I also realized while I was on my break that I felt that way because I didn't have any type of structure I was kind of like coasting and winging it in every area of my life and it wasn't getting me anywhere after I gave birth to my son two years ago I was feeling very um everything just seemed so hard like I was having a really hard time adjusting to life it was hard for me to eat three meals a day I felt like I didn't have time to get my nails done I didn't have time to get my lashes done I didn't have time to get my hair done it was just a lot going on and I remember someone telling me that the reason why everything seemed so complicated was because I didn't have any structure and I remember thinking to myself like how will structure really change this issue is that really a thing and once I actually started trying to create structure in my life I realized how big of a deal it actually is and how much it can really change your life and change your mental and really take stress off of you so why is structure important structure allows you to actually make time for yourself and make time for the things that actually make you happy the things that make you feel productive it allows you to really come up with a system to get things done structure is important because it gives you a sense of familiarity and control i noticed that i'm kind of a control freak not really in relationships anymore i used to be but when it comes to other things i try to have as much control as i can because if not i'm very anxious and i don't like not really knowing the outcome of things like i don't like just winging it it just makes me feel all over the place like i said before and i just feel super duper stressed when things aren't really like set in stone if that makes sense structure reduces stress levels because when you have a certain amount of time set aside to do certain things things that you actually want to do you're less stressed because you know those things are going to get done when you're winging it and you don't really have time allotted for certain things you're not prioritizing certain things a lot of stuff that really are priorities never get done because then you find yourself doing a whole bunch of stuff that don't even really matter structure gives order to your life it allows you to procrastinate less because when you know you have other things to do in the day you can't procrastinate in order to make sure all of those things get done i had a client before who was a teacher and she taught like young kids i remember her saying to me one day you can always tell when kids don't have structure at home and it's really the same thing with adults like you can always tell when people don't have any type of structure in their lives it's so weird to me that i had a hard time creating structure for myself after i had my son because he has had structure since the day he was born. He knows bath time means we're about to wind down. When we come in the room, I close those blackout curtains, turn on the white noise. He knows it's time to go to bed. Like he has had structure since day one. I intentionally did that from day one because I knew that kids thrive off of routine. I also knew that giving him structure would give me some type of structure, but really I only had structure when it came to him, if that makes sense. I didn't have any for myself. I wasn't creating routines for myself. I wasn't writing stuff down. I wasn't planning ahead. I was pretty much winging it with a lot of the stuff that I had to do for myself. And that's why nothing was really getting done. So like I said, once someone told me how much of a different structure would make in my life, I started creating structure. But over the past few weeks, I've noticed that I have fallen off and it was causing me to feel like I was going crazy and that's because all the things that i'm going to share with you that i do to create structure i stopped doing all that stuff like there was one night i was sitting in the bed and i was literally on the verge of tears because i just felt like nothing was really getting done and i was doing so much every day so like how can you be doing a whole lot how can you be busy all day and still unproductive but we gonna talk about it so when i realized that that's what was going on and that's why i was feeling the way i was feeling i really had to sit down and write my stuff down because y'all know that's how i really feel organized you got to get all that clutter up out your mind and put it on some paper the first questions i asked myself were what are your top priorities what are the things you have to do in order to feel productive because like i said a big problem i had was the fact that i was doing a whole lot throughout the day but i still didn't feel productive and i noticed that 
I didn't feel productive because I was doing a whole lot of things that weren't really top priority for me. The things that were really at the top of my priority list were not getting done. I was filling my day up with a whole bunch of little stuff that really was not even that important. So what are my top priorities? What do I have to do in order to feel productive? And these are things that really just concern me, not really my son, because he's good, he's taken care of. We talking about me. So eating three meals a day, that's one thing that has been really hard for me since I had my son. I don't know why. That's just what it is. Taking care of my body. So going to the gym, working out. Three, sticking to my budget. So not eating out a whole lot. Spending a whole lot of money on food because I feel like that's where most of my money goes. Writing down my bills so that I'm not surprised when all this money is coming out of my accounts. And the fourth thing that's really top priority for me is planning out my content and not just winging it. Whenever I wing my content, it never goes the way I want it to go. And I'm not even just talking about like views, but I mean like, Sitting down recording takes me forever because I'm just trying to go off the top of my head. I hate when it's Friday and I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna post on Monday. So once I figured all that out, my next question for myself was, how do I create structure in order to accomplish these things? How do I make sure I'm eating three meals a day? How do I make sure I'm sticking to my budget? How do I make sure my videos are planned out in advance? How do I make sure that I'm taking care of my body and working out three to four times a week? How do I fit all of this stuff into my schedule on a daily basis or a weekly basis, however often I need to do them in order to feel productive? The first thing, if you've seen my How to Become the Woman of Your Dreams video, then you already know, write it down. First of all, I need to write stuff down because I'm very, very forgetful. I feel like ever since I had Jax, my mind just does not work the same. My thoughts are constantly being interrupted. I'm always interrupted in the middle of a task, whether it's by Jax or just by my own thoughts. So I have to write everything down, whether it's my goals and to-do lists, my bills, my appointments, everything has to get written down. So first off, I started writing down my goals again and my to-do list for the day. I used to only write down like big goals that I had and then of course, like how I'm gonna achieve each one, whatever, y'all know I talk about the compound effect all the time. I'm not even gonna get into that in this video. We're not gonna get into it because I talk about it in almost every other video. But now your girl got daily to-do lists, whether I'm writing it down physically in my notebook or just putting it in my notes app on my phone i use my notes app on my phone all the time now i had to start writing down my bills again i have a calendar that's specifically for my bills and it just allows me to see the day that each bill is coming out then also if you don't know that certain bills are coming out certain weeks you'll overspend because you'll think you have more money than you actually have it's just not fun okay i also finally started utilizing my iPhone calendar. I was never the type of girl to use that calendar because I always felt like if I'm not actually writing it down, then it doesn't really matter. But even with me writing stuff down in an actual calendar, I'm not carrying those calendars around with me every day. Writing stuff down is so, so, so important. Not only if you're forgetful, but also just to get all of that clutter out of your head and organize on paper. Letting stuff just float around in your brain will cause your mind to just feel super duper cluttered and that's how you start to feel overwhelmed and overstimulated. The second thing I do in order to create structure is I create routines. Routines and structure go hand in hand. Like they're like this. They're practically the same thing. This is probably actually the most helpful thing to do when you're trying to create structure in your life because Structure is literally a system of routines, honestly. I started waking up at the same time every day. Ever since I had Jax, I've allowed him to wake me up unless I really, really have to be somewhere by a certain time, like earlier than usual. I let Jax wake me up because I know like ballpark what time he'll wake up every morning. It's usually between like 7.30 and 8.30. He never really sleeps past 8.30 a.m. So if I don't have to be up before 8.30 a.m., I'll just let him wake me up. But I noticed that the two times of day that I really feel overstimulated the most often is in the morning and at night, right before bedtime. So I realized I need a morning routine and a night routine. But we're gonna start off just talking about waking up at the same time every day. The reason why I have to wake up at the same time every day is because that is really the only way that my morning can actually be structured. That's the only way that I can guarantee that the things that I need to get done, I'll get done. If I'm waking up at seven o'clock a.m. one day and 8.30 a.m. the next day and I have to leave out at the same time every day, it's like I'm cutting my morning time in half and expecting myself to be able to do the same amount of things. Like, it's not possible. So I've been forcing myself to wake up at 7 a.m. 
I know I hate it I'm really I'm not even gonna say I'm not a morning person because I'm not one of those people who's like super grumpy and got an attitude in the morning I just have a really hard time getting up that's why I say I'm not a morning person but I noticed that if I want to get my stuff done and if I want to actually have time to myself where I'm not being interrupted by a toddler I have to get up before him now like I said sometimes he wakes up at 7 but on the mornings where he doesn't wake up at 7 the mornings where he wakes up at 8 8 30 I got an hour hour and a half to myself so while we're talking about mornings let's talk about morning and night routines one thing that i have been trying to get into i'm not even gonna say i've been doing it consistently because i haven't but i've been really trying to utilize a morning menu and an evening menu or a night menu i'll put a picture of them on the screen if you've never heard of a morning menu it's basically a menu where you write out maybe like six things that you would ideally get done every morning and every morning you just pick two to three things from that list that way you can still feel productive without being unrealistic, if that makes sense. So instead of driving myself crazy trying to do seven to 10 things every morning, I can just pick two things from that list and then do my non-negotiables. And then we have drinks. So every morning I wanna make sure I'm drinking something that's really benefiting my body. So on my drink menu, I have lemon water, tea, and a smoothie. Because I realized that if I don't actually make a conscious effort to drink water or drink some type of tea that actually is beneficial to my body or drinking a smoothie which could replace my breakfast, if I don't consciously think about those things, I won't do it. Because half the time, I don't even eat breakfast. And then we have the same concept for evening time. I have my two non-negotiables, which is washing the dishes and speed cleaning. So my speed clean is basically like wiping down the counters in the kitchen maybe sweeping the floor in the kitchen just like really quick cleanup stuff picking up all the toys off the living room floor that jacks and throwing all over the place a real quick cleanup because i noticed that i was trying to clean my whole entire apartment every night and that just was not doing anything for me but stressing me out then i have my pick three so you see how like having an actual menu and seeing things that actually make you feel productive and being able to choose from that list helps you to actually get stuff done and still be realistic about the amount of time that you have. I told y'all how I be trying to clean my whole entire apartment. Your girl had to come up with a cleaning schedule, okay? Because it was getting to be too much. And it's not even that I was really trying to clean every single room every day. It's more so just not having a set schedule that was driving me crazy because then I always felt like when I started cleaning, I had to clean everything. So I found a cleaning schedule on Pinterest when I was looking up morning menu examples actually. And I was like, hmm, this is actually a really good idea. So the cleaning schedule allows you to pick a day for each room. Monday is I might focus on the bathroom and that's where I really deep clean the whole bathroom. Tuesday, I might focus on the kitchen. That's where I sweep and mop the floors, wipe down all the surfaces, disinfect everything, clean out the fridge. Wednesday, I might clean the living room. So I'll vacuum as opposed to just picking up all the toys. Thursday might be my laundry day. Like having a set day to do each thing will really help you to not try to cram everything in one day. Another routine that has really, really helped me was creating a workout routine. Not only do I have a set amount of days that I work out each week I have set days that I work out each week like having an actual schedule for the gym helps so much that's something that I really underrated for the longest time I need that in order to make sure I'm really achieving my fitness goals for each part of my body and then last but not least the third way that I create structure in my life is by planning ahead I told y'all I hate winging my content because I feel like when my content isn't planned out I can't ever really execute it the way that I really want to so sometimes planning content can be me just sitting down brainstorming different video ideas which I've been doing for like the past three days because I've been having like creative block lately so I'll just sit down for a few minutes each day and just see what I can come up with yesterday I sat down to plan out all of my videos for vlogmas that's another thing if i'm doing vlogmas i'm really gonna have to get on top of my game because that's not something you can really do well if you're winging it i figured out the days that i'm gonna post i'm doing three times a week y'all i can't do every day i'm sorry i just cannot do every day i'm gonna give y'all monday wednesday friday upload each week up until christmas i started planning ahead as far as my content and then i also decided to start meal prepping one of my top priorities is making sure i eat three meals a day not only because it's good for my health but also because that's the only way i'm going to really reach my fitness goals that i had my training goals in the gym i work out to gain not to lose and all my working out all my training will be done in vain if i'm not getting my macros in every day and i realized that the only way i can ensure that i eat three meals a day is to really prep my meals in advance plan my meals in advance so the only thing about routines is that sometimes it can make you feel like a robot i'm not gonna lie like i feel like that's the only downside to it routines help me a lot of course because they help me to create structure in my life but I hate the fact that when I fall off of my routines even just a little bit 
I get in these really, really bad moods and really sad moods because I'm so heavily reliant on my routines. It's kind of discouraging. So I just wanted to touch on that because I know other people might feel that same way, but you really just have to remind yourself that we are human and we thrive off of routine. We thrive off of familiarity. And this is the one time I'll ever say that familiarity is good. Don't focus on the fact that you're doing the same thing all the time, but really try to think about how much it actually benefits you and benefits your life. Life, how it benefits your mental, how it decreases the stress in your life, and how it actually helps you to be realistically productive in every area of your life. I hope this video helps someone. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Heaven, said you to me.